so here's where we got so far. Uh, we got the motor down here, and it mounts to the original bracket on the bandsaw. Here is our infamous speed control board. And when you come over here, this is the panel for the treadmill. What I've done is I've removed these screws, four of them, and removed these screws, and there was uh, six or seven of those. Um, seven, I believe. We'll just flip this over. If you recall, that those two gray wires right there, they went to um, the small harness, but we believe they were for the, um, the speed sensor, so we're not using those. Then we cut this board right in half, and here's what you got. Okay, so this is the control, and as you can tell, we just used a bandsaw, my other one, wood cutting bandsaw, cut that right off. So we're going to mount this to the frame in the front of the table saw, and I'm going to put this 115 volt switch as our power switch that we talked about last time, and I'm going to set it somewhere over here where that uh, little board came off. Okay, so I laid the switch out, and I just drilled a bunch of holes. I'm going to take the plastic out in between those holes and then just file it to shape. That's for the power switch. Okay, so there it is, and it's knocked out. Twist it off. I'm going to file this smooth and then just drop the switch in and then make a wiring harness. So this is what it looks like after it's filed and um, this is the back side just like that. Okay so maybe uh, putting the light on might help to illustrate. You can see how this switch just snaps in place and um, that's it. So this is going to be my on off and this is going to be my bandsaw speed. Now one of the things I noticed was, and this Proform just seems to be made for this task, it's got four um, standoffs that are mounting uh, this to the Proform treadmill, but it just so happens that um, they are the correct distance for this Rockwell stand. So you can see that I can attach it right here, just like that. And what I've done is I have um, filed the back of this control board, I mean this, um, these standoffs, just a little bit to get it flush. It's only going to mount with two. I'll see how that works. I don't think I'll need four. But if I do, I can just put a piece of strap steel down there with two mounting screws. Here's the finished product. And we've got the switch mounted right here. This is the on-off switch. And down there is the electronics. I mounted it upside down so that any shavings of metal will not fall into the PC board. And uh, you can see where the wires go. And they all come down here. We had a lot of the extra control wire. So um, let's plug it in and see if this baby works. So we got it plugged in. Still comes on. Switch is mounted in backwards, the power switch. It should be up is on and down is off, but this is the opposite. But anyway, that's a minor detail. I'll just snap it in and out. So you can tell there's no power. And there we go. So it's kind of an interesting switch because if you turn it if you turn the power off and you turn it on, the motor does not come on. So there must be some kind of safety built in, which is nice because that means your your uh, saw isn't going to come on on high speed. So you got to turn it off and turn it on. And right now we don't have a belt connected, but you can see the pulley's moving. And turn it off, and it is a counterclockwise rotation, which will turn the belt so that the uh, saw blade goes down into the table. And that concludes converting a wood table saw, or, or a bandsaw, to a metal bandsaw. Bye-bye.